Welcome back to MLB Central. Ballpark Cam is up and running at Truist Park, where the Marlins and Braves are scheduled uh, for a game that many of you will see right here on MLB Network. Coverage beginning at 12 o'clock Eastern, but first pitch not scheduled for 12:20. Which means that means that's a fill show. It's a long, it's long a lengthy fill show. two commercial breaks. Two commercial let's breaks. Let's not hope. Little rain delay. Those boys will be there all night. Yeah, that's true. They so uh, they got the tarp on the field. Hopefully they can get this game in, and hopefully it happens on time. If not, go to the battery. That's because right. Because there is a chocolate shop that is delicious. Ooh, really? Yeah, you're welcome. Let's ask Max Fried how Let's he feels it. about chocolate and sweets and other confections. <laughs> uh, other random Ma thing. Yeah, Max Fried joins us now. He has gone indoors because of the weather there. Max, we appreciate the time. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, it guys. It looks like it's a school picture. I know. It looks like Max. you're posing for a school picture. Yeah, blink twice <laughs> if you're being abducted <laughs> by extraterrestrials. <laughs> well, it's the, the blurry black background. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with Zoom, so it's just, I guess this is the way it was just set up. <laughs> hey, Max, we see you wearing a Spencer Strider uh, yeah. T-shirt. Tell us about the competition, the healthy rivalry. Uh, between yourself and your other rotation mates. I mean, this is a deep, deep rotation here. Oh, no, extremely. I mean, what Spencer's been able to do to finish last year and also start this year is incredible. I mean, obviously, you see the strikeout numbers, his ability to go deep into games right now, and uh, I think just his mound presence and the way that he kind of commands it. But not only him, you know, we've got kind of just one through five. Just everyone's going to go out there and try to get us a chance to win that day, and uh, you know, we're, we work hard and we take a lot of pride in, uh, you know, taking that ball every fifth day and giving ourselves a chance to win. We've got a great lineup. So all we have to do is just stay within, uh, you know, just keep it within a couple runs and know that, like last night, you know, yeah. we can look for five or six in an inning. Max, we talked to certain players who say they didn't start playing until they were 12, 13, 4. I was reading that you were perfecting pitches at, at 12. Take me through the journey. <laughs> You're smiling. Is that true? When did you start? Uh, I had I'd always been around a baseball field. My my older brother's nine years older than me, so I would go and watch him play. But I'd say that I was starting yeah. to play T ball yeah. or some kind of baseball around like three, four years old and kinda always loved it and I was a three sport athlete just kinda growing up. So I'd always play football, basketball and baseball, but just gravitated towards baseball always. Um I loved pitching, I loved hitting, I loved just running around and being on the field and being outside. So for me just uh I just took to the game very quickly, and it's just the the one thing that I've always really loved. Hi, Max. Jim Tomey. Hey, I uh, I know you played with Lucas Giolito in high school. Speaking of competition, is there yeah. still friendly competition between old kind of teammates and friends? Do you guys still have some good talks and kind of kind of have fun with each other? How does that work? Yeah. No. Absolutely. Uh, me and Lucas obviously go back to high school, but even to this day, you know, we work out in the off seasons together. We push each other. Uh, I keep up with his starts and, you know, him and Jack, uh, Jack Flaherty. So we're, we all keep in touch. We kind of just, you know, follow each other, push each other. I definitely see what he does on a, on a stat line and I'll, I'll keep that in mind. But, uh, you know, there's always that friendly competition, but we also support each other immensely, which is, is huge, especially in this game. You know, your confidence can kind of get hit at times, but to have people in your corner that, you know, lift you up is really important. What's Max Freed do during a rain delay if you're not pitching? Try to go inside and eat. I and think I'm just trying to get some some spread. I've, I've been somewhat light over the last couple of years, so anytime I can get get some <laughs> extra extra weight on me, I'm yeah. uh, taking advantage of that. Must but, be nice. Must yeah. be nice. Lucas. Are we are we still playing cards nice, during Max. a rain delay? Like, what are you doing? You watching? You diving in on Netflix? Uh, no, not not too much in the clubhouse. I'd say cards is mostly maybe on the plane, just like just around around the table. But uh, I think it's a lot of just sitting around. You know, guys like to you know talk smack to each other yeah. and just just hang out and just kind of wait to wait to see but yeah nothing no no crazy activities we've got actually uh uh golden tea and a couple different like video games the guys Ooh, like to i like that i like that yeah hey, hey real quick just kind of going in on your pitch repertoire and your pitch mix last year you mm -hmm. were throwing what appears to be more change-ups this this year you're breaking out 
the sweeper and the different shapes on the breaking ball. Is that done by design? Does a pitching coach come to you and talk to you about that? Is that something, something you wanted to do in the offseason coming in? Uh, I would say every year I've kind of added – something a little bit different to uh to my stuff or my to, re to my repertoire um it's it's all about trying to just push myself and get a little bit better if i can add something that's gonna you know help me get a hitter out and keep them off balance a little bit more that's it's kind of what i'm i'm going for uh the change up kind of just came naturally we slowly integrated it and i kind of broke it out in the 21 playoffs and just had the confidence to keep it going in 22 and then uh, this year's just more about more of the same. I think it's just refining and getting more more consistent with my pitches and being able to execute them whenever I can. Max, to that end, we, we've got this graphic here of uh, ERA plus leaders, of which you are at Look the at top ERA leaders uh, since the start of 2020. You mentioned always refining and, and tweaking. Um, when you look back at where you were to begin your career to where you are now, what, what comes to mind? Uh, I think earlier in my career, I was really just worried about throwing strikes and, you know, I was, I was just more worried about my mechanics and trying to have perfect mechanics. And then, uh, when our pitching coach Rick Kranitz came over here, uh, the first time he saw me, he was like, you're too athletic of a guy. We just need you to get more athletic in your delivery. And once I just focused on trying to, you know, I guess like, uh, just be more athletic, just use my athleticism to my advantage. I would noticed that my command was better, my pitches were sharper, and my confidence just went way up. It felt, it felt like I was doing a lot less and it was easier to execute my pitches rather than, you know, feeling like it was a struggle just to put the ball in the zone. Max, you're a star, I get it, but how many times have you been picking up a prescription at the pharmacy and then said, Max fried? <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. You're like, I'm an ace. Yeah. Respect no, me. I'm one of the best pitchers in the game. He can't go anywhere in Atlanta. They leave him alone, but I'm sure everyone knows who he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's a, that's that's something my whole life. Uh, I say I free. I normally it's like, hey, you know, Max Freed, F R I D, spelled like fried. So it's just. <laughs> Oh, um, gosh, it's kind of time. always, it's always been, always been a thing. If I, if I don't even want to have to have that conversation, I'll just straight up say Max Pride, and then you just, <laughs> so, you just kind of have to feel out every situation. So we're a morning show. We always ask people what they're, what they're having for breakfast. If you're gonna put weight on Hunter's breakfast, waffle, peanut butter, Ooh. then syrup. Yeah, sticks to the ribs. That's. That's a little too sugary for me. I've got some, I've got some stomach issues that I'm, I'm trying to handle, so I'm trying to eat a little bit cleaner. But um, I would say my my go-to breakfast is normally uh, eggs over easy, some kind of like sausage patty with different types of meats, whatever it is, turkey, uh, beef, whatever, and then uh, like a like a good hearty just pancake, just good. Man. That's what... that can kind of soak it all up and yeah. you know get, get a little bit of filling. You a coffee drinker? I am coffee right here. Bang. He's yeah. a runny yolk guy. I'm a runny yolk yes. gal. You guys do not. I, not I, don't, I don't like that runny, runny yolk. yolk. I don't like that runny <laughs> yolk. Hey, yeah. Max, we appreciate you, Thank uh, you. you joining us. We always love it when we can have players on, especially players of your stature. So we appreciate you making Thank time you. for us. Thank you. Good luck, Max. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. I really Good appreciate luck, it. Good luck, Max.